that's new. The only good bug is a dead bug. I'd say we found the source of our infestation. But nothing you've got on hand is going to be enough for this one. What we need is an airstrike. Incorrect. The only thing I came here for is to farm some juicy XP. I know that this mission is a meme, but I don't think that it is a particularly hard one, especially if you have played it before. In Long War, there is usually one thin man pod beside the chrysalids, which can complicate things, but this time, they decided to take a day off, fortunately for me. I can't say I've ever seen an operation go that smoothly. Excellent work, Commander. The following missions were also very successful. I can't believe you've done this. He's dead. We nailed it, Commander. <laughs> Matilda, our Swedish sniper, got a really unique build. And our favorite domestic terrorists got their ass whooped really hard on their first mission. Detected. Blow that piece of junk out of the sky! All fighters! All wings report in. Red leader standing by. Gray leader standing by. Green leader standing by. Luck S files and attack positions. May the force be with us. the bubble. Nothing. That was too close. After flawlessly clearing the crash site, another one down. Good work, Commander. I can finally research this UFO variant, so hopefully, in the future, I don't have to use all of my fighter jets just to shoot down one raider. And we are at the end of the month, which means it is satellite time. I wanted to get rid of the Russian one, so now, I could cover both Africa and South America. That raider, that I have just shot down, could have done it maybe, but I decided that in the long run, I get more value out of a downed radar than a temporary satellite coverage, and I wouldn't be able to protect both continents properly anyways. So, I believe I made the right decision when I went for the social credit grind instead. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased.
Now, that I have the Asian bonus, which gives me discount on the foundry projects, I will try to get all the expensive ones, to maximize the effect. But I have to wait a week for that. Until then, let me tell you about my plans for this game, because when the alien containment finishes, everything will change. If you thought that my meld game is reckless sometimes, then all I can say to you is this. Hold on to your butts. From now on, I will try my best to capture as many aliens as possible on every mission. I have two very good reasons to do so. Reason 1. Council requests. After I interrogate an alien species, from time to time, the council will request captives from that specific alien type, and most of the time, they offer great things in return. And reason number 2. Plasma weapons. When you capture an alien with the arc thrower, the weapon it uses doesn't self-destruct, and we get it at the end of the mission. They work exactly like in District 9. Humans just can't operate them. It didn't work like that. Because as we discovered, their technology is actually engineered in a biological manner and interacts exclusively with their DNA, so it just doesn't work with humans. But they can be sold at very good prices. In fact, selling them is the best way to make some extra money. But enough with the theory, let me show you in practice what I mean exactly. Aye aye commander, enemy troops! I will follow a very simple strategy. Eliminate everything I can't capture. Weaken one that I can. And separate it from the rest. Oh hell no, I'm out of here. Here they come. I'm not very happy to see more squids, but at least I have brought BD. In long war, even if the target has only 1 HP left, the chance of the capture stays around 50%. So if you do everything perfectly, it is still just a coin flip. Hope this works. Now we can begin preparing for the interrogation. Moving to Overwatch. I'm glad that the other thin man ran away, because now, I can attempt another capture. Suppressing fire. Now I just have to make sure that I don't accidentally activate the squid bot, and I will be fine. On my way. Look sharp, enemies rolling up. One small slip up was enough to ruin everything. When I moved there, I was thinking about it like this. The seekers are there, and my closest soldier to them is here. So theoretically, I should be safe within this line. But when I moved to this position, I have revealed a completely new angle, which gave line of sight to them. But now, let's assess the situation. I have already reloaded with my arc thrower lady, and her position is easily flankable by each seeker. But Romain, our tanky Swiss assault, might has a solution to all this. The close encounters and aggression ability, coupled with Raj's command, might just be enough to take down the two closest seekers.
say goodnight. Tell the doc we're bringing home a live one. Mission accomplished. This mission was so close being perfect, and the thing that bothers me the most, is that this loss was completely avoidable. This is the part, where this episode's title will make a lot more sense. I think you have noticed, that I couldn't keep up even with the 2 week upload schedule. Let's just say, that I was busy, and in the very little free time I had, I rather watched The Office. But the exam period is almost over, and I have enough time again, to continue this series. The next episode will come out next year, with a brand new upload schedule, that I call the Gandalf Approach. Instead of a predetermined regularity, every new episode will come out when I finish editing it. So the new episode is never late. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Thank you guys for joining my dumb little journey in a modded version of an 11 year old game. And I will see all of you next year in the next episode of the final journey.